Hi everyone, Tyler, executive editor at PC Gamer, along with Wes, hey features guys. editor. Uh, it is our week of spring cleaning, so yeah. as you can see, another pile of magazines just fell on the floor. Yeah, it turns out there are a lot of magazines, like four or five other boxes here, some of which have magazines on them, but most of which are just full of old game discs. I think we're going to find some good stuff. So basically our goal is to sort through all of these and probably keep most of them, but to just archive them a little bit better. Honestly, we just want to have fun, like looking through all these boxes and finding games that we played when we were kids or have never thought of or heard of uh, in our entire lives. So yeah, some of these games are probably not going to be worth commenting on much. Dawn of War is great though. Yuri's Revenge is the expansion to Red Alert 2, which is my favorite Command and Conquer game of all I've time. I've never heard of Hidden Evil, Star Trek. Star Trek Hidden Evil. First, we should look at this preview edition of Tomb Raider, starring Laura Croft as the Tomb Raider. Well, who else? Look at that art. Isn't that gorgeous? Whoa. We have big mother truckers. Well, we need that, Wes. Right. We should make files of what we, what we need. Oh, there's XCOM Apocalypse. We can go with the XCOM Apocalypse manual. I say we just dump them all out in a pile and swim in them. An advanced placement U.S. history <laughs> test, like, <laughs> prep planner, I guess? Yeah. Who... Interns. Did you right? have a high school intern? Whiplash. I made a five on it. What is the official Presidente's Guide? Is that... Uh, it's a Tropico, uh... Tropico manual. manual. Remember manuals? The first Tropico. God, I miss these. Especially when they take sprites and like print them in black and white. So, so good. useful. It is. Look at that. Who needs game facts when you had this? <laughs> Just kidding, we need game facts. Zeus, Master of Olympus. <laughs> Try playing this on GameSpy. <laughs> you can still play it for a month. <laughs> Way to be topical, Tyler. <laughs> Rise of the Triad. This just was was just remade, right? Mm-hmm. Last month? Yeah. It just came out. Everything old is new again. Two copies of Invisible War. I say we keep both, Wes. I don't like to throw That's, things out. I mean, we're going to give these away, to be clear. We're not going to just... Here we go. Now we're talking cash. feelies. Here we go. All right. Man, that's, look at this spiral, spiral that's, bound manual. That's what it used to be like. Oh, all the spells. Do you have one of those at home, Corey? I do. The uh, boulders, the first boulders gate was like normal, normal bound, and then they started spiral bounding these. Because <laughs> they just got too huge. I have the follow-up manual at home, too. There are recipes in the back. Oh, more battlefield. Wait, that's, that's an, that tricked me. It's a battlefield ad on the back. Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Oh, I, re I remember they put battlefield ads on the uh, Medal of Honor expansions. Command and Conquer Generals. I could never get into oh. this one. No, I wasn't into Generals. I have the manual for Worms 3D. Worms was never meant to go 3D. <laughs> There's a four? couple of right, coasters. So, Star Wars Galaxies. Is this a keeper? Can't even you can't play can't it. Can't even anymore. keep it. That's that that has historical meaning. Open it up. <laughs> disc one. So back in the good old days, kids, games came on discs. Multiple discs <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> These were called eight tracks. <laughs> That's Corey behind the camera, by the way. We haven't introduced him. Allow me to. There's Corey. The Pandora, Pandora directive. directive. I wonder if we actually have uh, the game. I, I don't know how many Star Trek games came out, but each of these boxes, every time I look through them, there's, there's multiple. A, there's always the, like five Star Trek games. I feel like we might have more than one copy of that. Well, maybe that's just the one I see every this time. This is disc two, so. It's also sealed. Yeah. I'm really curious what the Star Trek Generations PC game is like. <laughs> we'll play it. We should play and stream some of these. Star Wars Battlefront. I love this game. Although the second one came out very quickly and was much better. Oh goodness, Blood Rain 2. We can't possibly part with this, Wes. Ghostmaster. I'm hold, hold that up for the camera, that's great. This Oops. Is, I don't think it is great. Ghostmaster was great! Was it? Yeah. That was okay. Was it great? I mean, is it better than Law & Order Justice is Served? That's not the Telltale one, right? Telltale made a Law & Order. The Telltale one is legit. Legacy Interactive. They also made a CSI game. Oh man, remember the Bink video logo? I missed that. <laughs> it still pops up. Yeah? It still pops up. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, sealed in the jewel case. Is that actually PC? Game yeah, Spy. powered by GameSpy. So you're not going to be able to play that. <laughs> but you can do a 6, 7, 20 on your own. Uh, Mavis Beacon teaches typing 9. 
I don't think we're going to use this. I wanted to show, I found this yesterday while we were cleaning. It's a game called, from 2002, called You Don't Know Richard. Now the joke here, hold, what hold you have up. to understand is that, Break uh, this down. is that Richard, sometimes people named Richard go by Dick. Uh, so what it's doing is, and it is, it is a, it's dating adventures for guys. Now let me give you the pitch here. Guys like to go on dates. Sometimes they have a hard time. They need some advice. They need an interactive FMV game where you play as Dick, so kind of on the nose there. That uh, this guy looks dead. Well, yeah. See, he's being killed by a woman uh, who is wearing her underwear because he because uh, video games. He called her by his ex girlfriend's name. Now, as I understand it, women don't like that. This game is totally uh, um, not at all disgusting and terrible. <laughs> But we only have the box. I noticed that we don't have the discs. I know. I really want to install well, it. Well, it might be I, one of these boxes. I feel like someone it's might have taken that home. Corey. Wing Commander Prophecy. Was this, was this past the point where Wing Commander was good, or was this a great Wing Commander? No, that was past the point when it was good, I think. A confidential Need for Speed Shift 2 disc that must be returned to Mastering Lab. Uh, Come and get it, EA. Some more Star Wars to join. Pull it up. Join our Star Wars versus Star Trek collection. I think we probably have more the Star Trek begins. stuff. The adventure begins. Phantom Menace. We're, get, we're getting to the good stuff here. Ooh, Dungeon yeah. Siege. Yeah, so I own Dungeon Siege. <laughs> and, and Tomb Raider, the last revelation. Oh, uh, the 90s. Call the hint. I, I want to call the hint line. Can we call it and get a hint? Yeah, I, I don't even know how much a 900 number would charge anymore. 99 cents a minute. I feel like it's got to be more now. Found the Star Wars Galaxies manual. Again, spiral bounding. Mm -hmm. Need for Speed 2 reference card. Ooh. You needed at least a 90 megahertz Pentium processor to play Need for Speed 2. It's rough. And a Haze compatible 9600 BPS or faster modem. Did you have a, a 9600 BPS modem? I never had anything lower than 56K, I don't think. Baby. All right. I, I suggest we just continue to make a mess. This is like the fifth Blood Rain disc I've found. <clears throat> Holy crap. It's the exact it's opposite of what oh, we're trying to do. Stubbs, oh, that's way more Stubbs fun the Zombie. I never played this, but I always wanted to. It was kind made, of fun. It's made by a bunch of ex Bungie guys. Yeah. Apparently, it controlled like Halo, basically. Mm -hmm. But you were a zombie. Mission Force. Mission Force Cyberstorm. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Good stuff. I remember Earth Siege, too. The Microsoft Encarta 98 Encyclopedia. We should definitely load that up. You know, actually, there was a period in PC Gamer's 90 history, 90s history where we would. Uh, review or at least have a section dedicated to like CD-ROM interactive experiences like interactive uh, did you Did you seriously review Encarta? I don't think we reviewed Encarta um, when I was working here in 1996. <laughs> uh, it had to be an adventure but when, but when encyclopedia. It couldn't just be a reference. PC Gamer in the US started in 94 when the CD-ROM was just becoming, like Myst was like proved that the CD-ROM drive was necessary for PC gaming and just like interactive CD-ROM experiences became a big thing. Same thing's going to happen with virtual reality, mark my word. What do you have here? I have uh, Lord of the Rings Online official, official video game score okay. and Hulk. Yeah, hold up, Tyler. Let's, let's figure out what we're doing with these games. Look, I'm just, I'm just in it for the history. Do we want to put all the jewel cases on a shelf? No. We have a lot of sound That sounds like a plan for Lord of the Rings Online. Someone put the post-it note on these soundtracks and then someone else didn't follow through and give them away, so... Um, Poisonous pear. Yeah, Max's full tilt yeah, pinball. Pear. Wes is trying to actually do the job at hand and I'm just... Nice job, Wes. <laughs> excited by things I'm finding. I don't even know what this is. Spider-Man. Oh, and unopened Unreal Tournament 3. The game doesn't get its due. Pandora Direct? Oh, it's too dark here. Hang on. Max Murphy. I love that it is uh, sealed. Mm -hmm. PC Gamer and Tex Murphy go way back, apparently. Or is it being sealed mean we never played it? I don't know what this Blu-ray is or why it's here. It's mine candy. And another sealed Pandora Directive. This is just uh, a treasure trove, Wes, and you're missing out by trying to actually do our job. Well, they're going to look great on the shelf. No. We at least want to put all our Star Trek stuff together and our Star Wars stuff together. Do we want to try to organize by shooters and... <laughs> We're going to have a whole shelf of Star Trek. Um, that would be great. Or should we go chronological? 
Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> I want you to check the Unless you have some preternatural ability to What if we go autobiographical? We could do no. We could, do, as in sick, no. we could just do alphabetical. <laughs> First get the game. Hey, check it out. Star Trek Away Team. Star Trek vastly outweighs Star Wars right now. So far. The original Thief? Yes. And sad that this isn't in a jewel case. This shouldn't be shouldn't be in a paper sleeve. We have no shortage of jewel cases. Tyler, look, look what you've done. You've been stacked too high. Look you got too close to the sun. Uh, I don't like your stacking. You're just so bad. Oh shit, is this Phantasmagoria? Really? I just accidentally we recycled just, Tennis just, Master series. We just went through this. I don't want to hear it. I want to play Revenge of Arcade. Uh, with Miss Pac-Man, Rally X. <clears throat> a way too sexy Miss Pac-Man there. I had Microsoft Arcade. That makes me really uncomfortable. So, we don't have a copy of Phantasmagoria yet, but we have a copy of the Game Wizards Interactive Strategy Guide. For the sequel. I've heard Phantasmagoria is uh, a little disturbing. It is. I, I played it when I was 12. Ooh. I didn't know why they were having an angry hug. Rise of the Nation. That's the best real-time strategy game ever made. I know. What do you think H-Man 2 is? Um, Tyler, any possi guesses? Possibly pornography. Man 2. I was trying to think of some way this could be a He-Man game. Midnight Club? They came out, that came out on PC? Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I see, I see Mortal movies. Kombat 3 here. Yeah. Battlefield 1942 with the code written on the front. Oh, Operation Flashpoint. Wait, 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 Slave Zero came to PC? I didn't know that. I had it on Dreamcast. But... We also have a sealed copy of Tony Hawk 2. Okay, so I played a lot of that on PC. You can actually play that really well with the keyboard. That's, had, that's for had, real. Uh, Tony Hawk, probably three, uh, maybe four, actually. In the Hard Trilogy, I remember that. I remember seeing that in a Best Buy. Uh, I can't remember. I was just Eurogamer just review. wrote a great retrospective on Die Hard Trilogy. Yippee <clears throat> asterisk, <laughs> at symbol, hash. This is a, uh, a... That's a keeper? Let's put it on that's a stack that's going to fall over in the next two minutes. Expect no mercy. And, you know, I don't. The Wheel of Time? I played that. It looks like a really ugly late 90s RPG. Uh, I can't even parse what this is. It's like, oh look, Jagged Alliance Disc I might actually install this and do a pixel boost on it on the LPC. We have a lot of old games that... You had another Star Trek that. game? Star Wars Starfighter. That was kind of the Rogue Squadron successor, yeah. right? Yeah. Here's a game I 100% played. Twinson's Odyssey. Yes, do you remember this? No. This sounds like something you would be familiar I with. I played Stone Keep as well. That's a really crappy dungeon hack and slash. Nice goblin on the back. Yeah. It was all um, it was all like full motion video kind of. It was it was like all the enemies that you fought against were uh, like Mortal Kombat digitized. Is this for Alice? Hold it up. It says Alice on the front. Looks like it's not a manual, it's just a feely. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Did we see Armada? Star Trek Armada Star down Trek. here? Man, another Star Trek game. I think we probably have like five more boxes in storage. Or, Star uh, Trek Encyclopedia. Got all these Star Trek guys. I think Star Trek fandom is a, a long standing requirement to work at PC Gamer. Another sealed uh, Star Trek game. A Final Unity, which is great. <laughs> I met Michael Dorn once. He's uh, a large man. It's not the real map, though. Well, yeah, it's a map. Come on, Wes. Didn't Baldur's Gate 2 come with a cloth map? I might be wrong. Have we found Star Trek New Worlds yet? Because here's nope. the manual. Nope, that's a new one. We need to play all these Star uh, Trek games. Manual for Gnome. Good. Now, don't forget Star Trek Starfleet Command Orion Pirates. Or Empires at War. God. The manual for... Is that another Star Trek manual? It's, yeah. That's just, it's Star just Trek, a book. Star Trek Hidden Evil. It's just a book with the Lakars interface on it. Ensign Sovok's personal log. Okay, so we have, we have a lot more to go through here. Another Star Trek thing. This is a fold-out mission creator command guide. Jesus. We'll keep going through our archives, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I can talk Wes into streaming every Star Trek game ever made because we seem to have it. Oh my! Why isn't that on our wall? You have it upside down, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, it would help if you guys turn it right side up. 
Good lord. After many, many years of, <laughs> of hoarding, PC Gamer's finally going to be cleaned up. Thank you for watching our completely uh, informal look at the history of PC Gamer. Uh, we'll do something with these uh, at some point. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you really want us to play any of these games, tell us, in the tell comments. us which ones. The YouTube comments, the Apple comments, whatever. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, I want to put all the jewel cases on the shelf. I'm the man with the crowbar. Okay. Mm-hmm.